where do you want them to go in the tight end position though? So I'm just going to, I'm going to approach this because you, you'll have the film aspect of it. I'm just going to approach this totally from a roster building point of view, yeah. right? An asset management point of view. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to have three tight ends all on rookie contracts. So that to me, like I wish they had just passed on tight ends last year, knowing that this class was coming because it's a great year to get a value tight end. No. That being said, it, it's tough. I think Pitts is a generational talent. Ordinarily, I'd say pass on tight ends until round four this year. You, your roster isn't built to take it. Pitts is that good. He also might be a wide receiver. He's, so, he's an offensive he's, weapon. Right so, when you call Kyle Pitts a wide receiver, because Kyle Pitts, he does have some streaky blocking tape. You know, you can find yeah. plays. Like, but what Kyle Pitts does is he runs routes, and his especially at the line of scrimmage, his route releases are better than any wide receiver in this class. Like, he is some of the best route running right. technique out of any of the pass catchers in the entire class. Tight end, wide receiver, running backs, throw them all in there. And Kyle Pitts is is one of one, maybe with only Devontae Smith. Is like, really yeah, good. yeah, he's kind of like that. I mean, I've heard Darren Waller. You've heard Travis Kelsey, obviously. But to me, what separates Pitts from those types of guys is his ability to play above the rim. This is a player that really has a, lar a large, massive catch radius, and he can really go play back basketball against guys too he doesn't have to win with quickness and, and, and with speed in the middle of the field and stuff like that he can actually get open in different ways so the guy i want to talk about in free agency is actually somebody we haven't necessarily talked about and it's robert tanyan from the green bay packers he's a restricted free like agent. him he's not an unrestricted free agent but i think we need to start talking about some of these rfas a little bit more i i have tried to talk a lot about tim patrick as much as i possibly can the wide receiver another guy i like yep Tanyan's another one because what you can do is the Green Bay Packers do, are not in a position like the Patriots where they have $70 million in cap space. So if you can load that contract up in year one for Robert Tanyan, you can make it really, really difficult for the Packers to match an offer sheet for that player, especially in this cap strapped year. And you can actually get the player. Hunter Henry and Jonu Smith are great players as well, but they're going to be, I think, over $10 million a year in the open market. Tanyan, I think you can get for a little bit less, and he's that vertical pass catcher, right? He he ran up the seam all day long in Green Bay, and that's the type of guy that I think that it could really use because – the stuff you know within the line of scrimmage or within ten yards and all, uh, whatever, right? I I can right. or take that at the tight end position. What I want from my tight end is a guy that can get up the field and get up the seam, and I, I think Robert Tanyan can definitely do that. And well, so who do you like better? Like, Somebody just mentioned this name, Tanyan or Everett, because Everett kind of fits that mold too. A little bit. I like Tanyan better. I think he can offer more as a receiver. I think Everett okay. might be a little bit of a better blocker, but I, I think Tanyan is a better all around player. And that's to me is thinking outside the box like Bill Belichick, because we can sit here and talk about Hunter Henry until we're blue in the face, right? You know, we do it every single right. week. We talk about Hunter Henry. But in reality, the Patriots, they're not bargain shopping by any means, but they might not be A list shopping either, right? You know, they might not be a team that attracts Hunter Henry. It might not be a team that attracts Allen Robinson. But these types of guys like Tanyan and, uh, and Tim Patrick are sort of under the radar players that. I, I think you can see it if you really know it. You know what I mean? If, if you really dig into it, he was a really effective player for Green Bay. So I, I would like to put his name out there.